Are you a beginner birder and need some resources to get started but watching? No worries, today I'm going to be sharing with you 6 birding blocks that I find really useful in bird watching. Stick around for more. Hi, I'm Justin from birdingoutdoors.com. So just to give you a little context, I'm actually quite a new birder. I've, done, I've been birding for about one year already. And so I found that I found it really difficult to find some really good resources online, especially websites and blogs, on how on how other people actually do their, their birding. So when I when I was learning birding, I actually compiled an entire list of all these birding blocks. And so I decided to make this video about it. I'll make sure I leave all the links down in the description down in the description below. So do check them out. Okay, let's start. Firstly, we have Ornithology. Ornithology.com is actually a website that's absolutely beautiful and has actually jam-packed with a lot of information such as lectures, uh, resources, and also uh, links to a lot of bird, um, a bird science organizations and travel guides to a lot of different countries. As you can see here, there's Africa, Antarctica, Asia, and so on and so forth. This blog is definitely a go-to site for you if you want to find whatever you want to know about birding and also the scientific study of birds. And uh, as, it, as the title of the URL says, Ornithology, Actually, this website is owned by uh, Roger Lederer himself. He was, he's the ornithologist, this man over here. And this site actually ranks 218 on the Fat Birder Top 1000 Birding Websites list. So oh, now it's about rank 167, so he's improved quite a lot since uh, the time that I recorded his previous ranking. So why I really love this blog is that this blog actually covers a wide spectrum of education on birds. Like there's a lot of focus on the scientific study and the, the science and the facts behind it. And it still, can have, it still can have a very palatable layout with content on interesting topics such as um, uh, bird migration, foraging, and so on. So forth. See, foraging, just to click around and have a look. Yeah, so it actually shows a lot of different parts of the bird and anatomy. And it's, it's because it's, it's, it's from an ornithology, ornithologist himself. Actually, all these things are uh, valid and they are they can be trusted yeah you can it can actually uh, be quite a bummer if you can if you look at other websites and you don't know you can trust the information but this guy this website is good so actually uh, I do recommend this box for for beginner birders but also it also suits uh, advanced birders and also ornithologists because there's also a heavy focus on on science and uh, it's not just about the basics so it can actually go beyond just the basics, but it's a good place for birders to start and to learn more about birds. So there's a lot of interesting such as like even like how the birds fly, the flight of birds and so on and so forth. Yeah, it's really interesting stuff. It's not the kind of stuff you can find anywhere. And yet, uh, make sure to leave the link down below if you want to check this, this website out. So let's move on to the next one. The second bird blog is Laura's Erickson's for the birds. Laura Erickson's for the birds. So she, the, the person that owns this blog is Laura Erickson and she actually does post quite a lot of blog posts throughout her throughout the year. So if you can see the previous one was about February 24th and then the latest one is March 3rd. So I think about every one, about every fortnightly or at least once a week she will, she will make a post. So what I really like about uh, so some more information about uh, this website is that she's actually uh, the 2014 recipient for the American Birding Association's prestigious Roger Tory Peterson Award. <laughs> that's, a, um, that's a mouthful. She's also a scientist, teacher, and professional blogger. So uh, what I like about this website is that it has a lot of casual posts of birding tips. So let's have a look. Yeah, so she in this, in this episode, she discusses... Uh, about chickadees and how to identify them and how and some really nice pictures that she's also taken and yeah so personal it's like how her day-to-day -day encounters with birds so actually if you're thinking if you're a new birder and you want to find out how actually others interact with uh, with other birders and also with birds and how they find birds then you can actually do, check this out this actually what I like about this blog is that it actually has a good balance between like what we had previously the scientific discussions and also a personal side to the blogging and about birding. So she has quite a bit of knowledge on both areas casually and also um, professionally. So and she also sometimes relates 
her birthing experience to her own life. So I feel it's really personal. And she's always happy to share all uh, about her family on the blog too. So it just makes it a little bit more personal and close. Yeah, so I recommend this blog for anyone who wants to have a more personal experience with, uh, with her. And uh, you want to see a more personal journey. Okay, next we'll move on to the third website. It's called Out There With The Birds. It's an official blog of Bird Watchers Digest. And I think this website is written by, yeah, this website is actually written by a few different writers. And they usually post about once a week. So, yeah, usually about once a week. Or sometimes many times a week. Yeah. So, uh, what I really like about this blog is actually a well, very well put together blog with a lot of different authors, and there's a lot of beautiful pictures of birds. Okay, so let's just see this one. Yeah, see this picture of the birds. The pictures of birds are really beautiful. Don't you think so? Yeah, Bruce, kudos to you. Really, really nice. Yeah, so this is not just this post that is really uh, really nice to read. Other posts are really good too. And what I like about this post is that it's actually not too much of the scientific jargon. So if you're a like, complete beginner, then this uh, website would be a good place to start. You just check out, uh, just find out. Uh, but just be treated with a lot of nice pictures and also find out more about birding. And uh, yeah, I would say it's more recommended to the very everyday kind of casual birder. So do, do check this out. I'll leave a link in, in the description also if you want to check it out. And next we have our fourth blog, Birding World. And Birding World is actually a blog that covers a wide range of topics. So it's not like the personal blog that we reviewed before. It has uh, bird watching, uh, bird identification, birding gear, bird ecology, birds and people. And it's a lot about like trivia. And let me just zoom in a bit. Yeah, so there are different categories you can, you can click over here. Let's see some of the bird identification. Yeah, so it covers a lot of interesting things like the body sizes of North American owls. So you can actually look through. It's a very, very nice and uh, <laughs> very detailed information about this body size and so on and so forth. So if you really like, um, like general knowledge, then this website is actually really good for you. You can also check out more about bird ecology yeah and then learn about bird flight so it can be random things things that really actually kind of interest me sometimes so if you are new you you, you tend to find more find uh, these small things more interesting so actually he's written this blog is written by Andre and uh, his intention of this setting up this website is to actually turn your interest in birds into a, a lifelong passion for bird watching so it's similar to my blog birdingoutdoors.com. Uh, this blog is actually, uh, actually a really great resource to find information to get just a, a, a good place to start so they can actually bolster your birding experience. Okay, so why I love this blog is that Andre writes this blog uh, in a very concise and a very content heavy way. So there are a lot of comprehensive guides, tips, tables, like uh, you've seen the, before that. That is even humor. So I find it is a very interesting very interesting website to get to know if you want to, you know, like speak like a birder, know its terminologies, you want to know what people talk about when they're a birder, and like, I think there's one about slang, okay, there's no slang here, but if you, came, if you come to my website, my website, it has a entire category on the birding slangs that we commonly use. So it's a great resource from beginner birder to advanced birder because it has such a general range of posts. And next, number five, we have Birdspot, birdspot.co.uk. So as suggested by the URL, it's mainly to spot birds that are in the UK. So this bird, this Birdspot website was actually known as bird, British Bird Lovers. And British Bird Lovers was actually started with the aim of making birds and bird watching accessible to all. The blog was created to fill the gap for those people who simply enjoy caring for the birds in their garden and to or seeing in them in their local park. So it's more of like a like a casual thing you can actually view. And uh, this actually this website actually includes bird watching tips for birders, identifying birds, helping birds, photographing birds, and uh, bird watchers code. So 
yeah, there are also a lot of other things here you can you can actually it's categorized into about watch, learn, gear, travel, and shop. So it's a good place to start for beginner birders because uh you can you can always uh refer to this website if you want to look more into the the begin the backyard birding space or like garden birding space because it has very interesting articles like how to attract birds to your garden and yeah a really comprehensive guide here. So there are many many things you need to consider and this place is a really good place to start. And so why I love this website is that it's actually packed with a lot of content in a beautiful and easy interact website. So if you go back to the previous page, let's say we can just click on okay, under this portion who is that bird, blackbird. So we have we have an entire study of all the details of the bird. You can see how it feeds and so on and so forth, where to see them, even listen to them. So yep. But all of this is within a British context, so if you are if you live in Britain, then this blog will be perfect for you. I would say this is the best blog for for um, um British birders. And lastly we have number six, we have feathered photography. Feathered photography was actually set up by a man named Ron with three primary goals to show off a few of his images to document interesting bird behaviors and to illustrate and discuss different aspects of bird and nature photography. And the site exactly does just that. In each of his posts, he gives a really, he actually shows really nice bird pictures. Yeah, so let's look at this one, rough legged hawk. And he usually, okay, what I really like about this website is that his pictures are not only nice, but look at this, look at this over here. He actually provides his settings to 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 as to how he took the the picture. So it's not just beautiful pictures, but he also teaches you how to replicate them and and certain tips and tricks in order to to have a very good photo photos of birds. And yeah, the pictures are really superb. So let's just look at another article here. Sandhill cranes dancing. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow, look at that beautiful. Such good color grading and everything. Okay, I don't know much about photography, but this look, looks like a great website if you're into getting to photography, like bird photography. So who who do I recommend this bird floor, this blog, this blog for? Uh, for those people, uh, let's say if you are interested in bird photography, you wanna you already kind of know a bit about photography, you wanna get into birding with the purpose of taking pictures of them. Then uh, this blog will provide lots of tips and tricks along the way. So do make sure you check out this blog, and uh, who knows, maybe pick up, maybe pick up some really good tips along the way to bolster your own bird photography experience. And uh, by the way, guys, go to birdingoutdoors.com/blogs to find a complete list of fifteen blogs that I recommend other than these. So actually, on this website, let me just show you. Yeah, so on this website, I have actually fifteen different birding blogs that you can check out. See the entire list here. So it's not just these six that I've covered in this video. So do go to birdingoutdoors.com slash blogs. So birdingoutdoors.com slash blogs to, to check out this uh, this blog post. I, I really recommend that you go check this out as a beginner. From a beginner to a beginner, do check this out. Yeah, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video and goodbye.